It's November 16th. This is Paula from Agility Scales, and I'm here to record a short video uh, about our MindSettlers Agile Adventures app. I want to help iOS users, um, people who might be thinking maybe about installing our Android app, give you a little bit of a preview of certain components. Today, right now, I want to talk a little bit about tracks and journeys. So let's get into the app and I'll show you what that is all about. So here's the current home screen of the app. And in Mind Settlers, we want to help people um, find good ideas and use those ideas and make change happen at work in a positive direction you know, achieve goals and solve problems. That's what we really want. And if you look at the top, you'll see there's four icons. There's find ideas, step one, track value. That's how we capture, you know, that's how you can put into the system what you have done. And then start a journey. That's the part I want to talk to you now about. The fourth one, improve together. That's about teams. That's about working and collaborating with others on goals. But for now, let's just talk uh, simply about starting a journey, tracks and journeys, okay? So I call these gamified action plans. And if I, I'm gonna come over to Explore. Here is, Explore is where you can find all the actionable ideas in Mind Settlers. There's a, a bunch of views in here. But if you look at the top, you see something called tracks, camp tracks, player tracks. Each one of these is essentially a gamified action plan. It's a collection of actionable ideas with an activity target uh, for you. If you look on the, like, for example, Hanabi feedback, there's a zero slash one. Your target is to do this one time. Um, feedback canvas, you can see that's a target of eight. They want you to try that, doing that eight times. All right, so here, Feedback culture, this is an action plan put together, I can see, by Thomas Curiura. And the goal of it is to create a culture. I mean, hello, the name says that. It's to um, really improve your culture so people in the team or in your group um, really get in the habit of giving feedback. So I think that's a cool thing to do. And if I want to, <clears throat> if I want to take on this action plan, I hit that button, start journey. So it's a track created by Thomas, and it becomes my journey once I say, yes, I want to do this. So now, let's say um, I have, we have a kudo box, and I gave someone kudos today. I can put in details about that. I can say, yeah, that was valuable for me. It made me feel really good. Um, I think it made, you know, Matthias feel really good, too. So I'm going to mark that as it was valuable for me, it was valuable for him. And in here I can come and add more details if I want to really capture what I did. For now I'm gonna skip that because that's a different video. Um, I'm gonna make it private so that I don't spam um, our community channels. But let me record that. So let's pretend I actually recorded some real activity that I did. I captured the details I wanted to capture. Um, so now if you look at the bottom kudo box now there's a one slash three and i have made progress i am at six percent progress and that is one out of 15 that's what six percent is so i'm on my way i'm on my way for this track sorry i said track but it's a journey it's my journey so then i can take action i can leave this and when i want to come back to it down at the bottom, progress, that's where I go. I go to progress and, oh my gosh, I have way too many journeys going on. This is not suggested. I don't suggest you have this many journeys going on. I do because I work here and I'm trying out all these tracks. Um, where is it? Let's find it. Feedback culture, there it is, 6%. Yep, I'm under 25, so it's orange. Once it gets over 25, it goes green. Let's, so now if I, there, I can always get back to it. Um, and also I can see, I can see who else is working on this track. I can not, you know, there's a lot of people who said they want to do it that I haven't started yet. Um, I can see who else has done it. No one's completed it yet. Ooh, maybe I should complete it because uh, then I get to be the first one to complete it and I get extra kudos and things. All right. And um, I can even go in and see what other people did against this track. Feedback culture, maybe not the best example because there's only six um, activity 
marks. Yeah, so Tom, I can see Thomas did some activity. And, ooh, who is this? Someone else here has uh, installed the Kudo box. And, I'll cut that out. Great. So that's my journey. And the last part I really think is useful to know. Uh, once you've completed a journey, it, it's down here, yay. We're gonna have badges that you get as well on your profile, that's coming soon too. But the, the thing I really like the best is being able to go into these well, do I like it the best? I don't know if I like it the best. I like it a lot. This is a journey I did complete back in August. And I um, was looking at this the other day and it was very cool. Oh yeah, I totally, I totally forgot some of these things that we'd done um, together. We, we did some, we had some play. We, we did some, you know, we watched some of the World Cup Croatia England match on, with colleagues sort of virtually together. Yeah, I can see all the activities that I took uh, to achieve this journey. So it gives me a record. I think that's really useful, especially if you're doing something for a team or with a team, but even for yourself for um, personal development or maybe career, you know, capturing what you've done in your career, you have those records and they don't go away. They, they belong to you. And as long as, you know, they go with you, it's sort of like LinkedIn. If you leave a company, go somewhere else, you have a record. You have a record of what you've done. Um, it's not left uh, behind with your company. Anyway, those are my thoughts about tracks and journeys. And once again, if you're in the app, you can find some here. Oh, I should also tell you, you can create your own. We're just, we're gonna release this soon. Let me come over to to Chrome. So we're building the interface where you can um, cre edit, create new tracks and journeys. So that's going to be great. Um, you can use what's in there for inspiration and maybe you want to alter it. Maybe you want to create something completely custom. That's coming soon and that's going to be, I think, really powerful um, for everyone. All right, that is what I wanted to show you. Hopefully that's not too long. I hope it makes sense. And if you have any questions, if, uh, if anything I said was confusing or if you wanna know where we're taking this, um, where else, you know, how, how are we developing this, et cetera, um, go to agilityscales.com and sign up for our Slack community. We have uh, two and a half thousand people connected on uh, agilityscales.slack.com and you're more than welcome to join us there. Great place to have discussions, ask questions. Um, if you want the app, if you're on Android, then head over to mindsettlers.com for that. Thanks, have a great day, bye.